when most people are talking about moving to or visiting a mountain town, they're talking about the towns that are right at the base of the ski runs. But I want to encourage you to consider towns that are just a little bit farther away. And in this video, I'm going to try to convince you to add Silverthorn to the list of towns that you're considering visiting or moving to. My name is Betsy Rapask, and I'm a realtor here in the mountains of Colorado. And Silverthorn happens to be where I first moved to when I moved to the mountains. In this video, I'm going to give you a list of reasons and a few of my favorite places that hopefully convince you to add Silverthorn to your list. Outdoor activities are the reason that pretty much anybody comes to the mountains or moves to the mountains. And Silverthorn has quick access to just about any outdoor activity that you can want to do. There's proximity to the ski resorts, and I'll touch on that a little bit more later in this video. But in addition to skiing, Silverthorn is also really close to Lake Dillon, so about 10 minutes to either the Frisco or Dillon marinas, where you can sail or do stand up paddle boards or go kayaking. And if you want to do something a little bit more intense, drive the 30 minutes up to Green Mountain Reservoir, where you can put ski boats in and tow behind and you have jet skis. Because all of these things aren't allowed on Lake Dillon, but by living in Silverthorn, you're right in between the two lakes, so you can do just about any water sport you want. Additionally, there is the Raven Golf Course, which is in the heart of Silverthorn, and I would argue has some of the best mountain views of any golf course that you'll find. There's hiking trails that lead all over the Wilderness neighborhood, and from the top of Wilderness neighborhood up to Buffalo Mountain, as well as others scattered along the valley that all have beautiful views and varying degrees of difficulty. If you want something that's super easy and just a nice excuse to be outside, you can walk along the bike path that stretches along the Blue River in downtown Silverthorn. And while you're on that path, you might see some fly fishermen because that's the other thing that Silverthorn is known for, fly fishing in the Blue River. And that's almost a year round opportunity, though I personally wouldn't want to stand in that water in the winter. A reason to consider Silverthorn that you might not think of is the weather. Silverthorn tends to be warmer than anywhere else in Summit County, especially Blue River. It can be as much as 15 degrees different as Blue River and Hoosier Pass. This means that you get a little bit more summer to do all those fun activities, and in the winter, you have a little bit less snow to shovel. Silverthorn has a plethora of bars and restaurants for you to visit, and they're adding more, which seems like daily. Some of my favorites are Angry Jane's Brewing, which now has a grilled cheese pop-up inside it, and Bluebird Market, and Bluebird Market is a food hall, which is perfect if people in your group can't decide where to eat, go to Bluebird Market. Some of my favorite food stalls in there are Hook and Harvest for something that's a little bit healthier. My husband loves Mighty Burger. I also really love the Chimeo stand. So if you're familiar with the location in Dillon, they also have a stand in Bluebird Market. And then in the middle of Bluebird Market is Mighty Bar, just to name a few. If you're looking for something a little more upscale, Sauce on the Blue is an Italian restaurant right on the edge of the Blue River. And they have a great patio. It's the perfect place to grab a cocktail and grab some sunshine. For brunch, Timberline is one of my favorite brunch spots in the county. I really like their Bloody Mary plate because I'm not very good at making decisions that early in the morning. And by early in the morning, right, that's a relative term. <laughs> if you're looking for a more elaborate Bloody Mary, head to Enza's. Enza's has some great breakfast options as well as lunch. If you're looking for coffee, pop next door to Red Buffalo, which also has breakfast sandwiches. In case you haven't picked up on it, I have a thing for breakfast sandwiches. My favorite spot to grab a coffee and do some work is House of Vibes, which is right next to Windy City Pizza, which is some of the best pizza in the county. If you're looking to grab a bite and you need to experience a piece of history, you should check out Mint. Mint is a grill your own steakhouse that is in a historic building that is actually part of the original town of Dillon. And by original, I mean when Dillon was at the base of Lake Dillon before they flooded the valley. They actually picked up this building and moved it to the spot where it sits now in the middle of the new 4th Street development. Convenience and proximity to just about anything, as I mentioned, is the reason to love Silverthorn. And this proximity extends from being only an hour to Denver, your 20 minutes to Breckenridge, 20 minutes to Keystone, about 30 minutes to Vail and A Basin as far as ski resorts go, and you're only about an hour to Winter Park. On top of being close to all of the fun things and close to Denver, 
There's also proximity to the things that you're going to need just to live and be there. And one of those things is Target. That might seem like an incredibly millennial thing to mention, but we have the only Target in about an hour and a half radius. There's no Target in Winter Park, no Target in Breckenridge. There isn't one in Vail. So if you need sort of the basics, Target is great. There is a Walmart in Frisco. So if you're more of a Walmart person versus a Target person, we have that as well. But I personally buy most things I need at Target because Target carries a lot of other things that we can't find anywhere else in the county. So like most of my makeup and skincare <laughs> comes from Target. In Silverthorne, you are only about mm, 10 minutes to the closest REI, which is in Dillon. And that's also where the closest grocery store is at City Market. You can also get to the Whole Foods in Frisco. And like I mentioned, the Walmart Natural grocers are also in Frisco, also about 10 minutes away. So Silverthorne probably has the most convenience out of any of the towns in Summit County. Last and certainly not least important reason to consider Silverthorne is the future. Silverthorne has put a lot of intention into its growth in the last couple of years, and it's really starting to show. The 4th Street development, which includes the Indigo Hotel, Bluebird Market, townhomes, and now they're starting on the apartment-style condos are all helping to put more people directly in the downtown area, which then helps to support the businesses and the restaurants that are down there so that Silverthorne can continue to grow. In addition to the 4th Street development, there's the Blue River Flats and a number of other condo developments along Highway 9 that will just bring more and more people closer into that downtown center of Silverthorne with all of the growth that is happening both in the downtown area and neighborhoods that are being developed like Summit Sky Ranch farther out in Silverthorne, we are seeing a boom in Silverthorne that I don't expect to end anytime soon. I wouldn't be surprised if Silverthorne becomes a destination in its own right, the same way that Frisco and Dillon are in the coming years. If I've convinced you to add Silverthorne on the list of mountain towns that you're considering visiting or moving to, please see the description below. We have a link to our community guide as well as a link to our buyer consult sign up so you and I can schedule a time to hop on Zoom and talk about your personal mountain property goals and things get you set up on search. As always, please like and subscribe to this channel so you can continue to learn about finding your mountain vacation home and follow me on social so we can continue the conversation. You can find me on any platform at That's Your Path.